Hello, good morning everyone, and welcome to our WRC-10 Career Mode on the Speed Jabinator 3 channel. And this is episode number 42, and we're at the uh, Rally Italian Sardega. If you missed the, uh, the previous rally, which was the, um, which was the Rally to Portugal, be sure to check it out on uh, twitch.tv slash speedjapinator3, and then also go to youtube.com slash speedjapinator3 for replay coverages. If you want to uh, put your thumbs up, leave your likes and links and comments uh, down below, and then add on to my uh, channel, and then also um, subscribe to my channel on the followers link and the purple heart, and then also on the... Um, subscription channel to uh, twitch.tv slash speedjapinator3 and if you want to uh, go to uh, youtube.com you can click on the red bell on the right side and add more subscribers to my channel and to grow my popularity of virtual racing into um, speedjapinator3 at youtube.com slash speedjapinator3 well this has been a good this has been a remarkable start so far for the uh, WRC 10 career mode in our fifth season and uh, running with the uh, Hyundai Motorsports and we have done a very good job. We've done second place in the season opener and then we have won the last three World Rally races winning at the uh, Rally Sweden, the Croatia Rally and then the Portuguese Rally. Had a little bit of trouble in the previous rally was the Portuguese Rally and everything so I hope we can uh, try to uh, improve our performance a little bit and then also uh, Dramatically, just get our um, hopes are going here at the Rally Italian Sardega. This is the uh, rally course that we haven't won yet, uh, but uh, let's see if we can try to um, get it uh, freely and more good. And then have a very good performance here for the uh, Rally Italian Sardega. And then there you see the point standings. We're 113 now. We're 20 ahead of Sebastian Ocier, who was having a great uh, start so far in the Toyota, but he faltered a little bit in the previous rally, in the Rally to Portugal while Evan Evans uh, got uh, the runner-up spot uh, in second place, and then Odi Tanik got fourth, and then Terry Nervo was in the top five. And it was a pretty good uh, rally. Uh, it was a pretty rough rally in the uh, Rally to Portugal because uh, we tried some of the horses many times and everything, but the same cannot be said for the uh, Rally Italian. So let's see if we can have a great performance in the Rally uh, Italian Sardega for episode number 42. Still have a development in our R&D and everything, and we're all set and ready to go. Let's get racy here at the Rally Italian Sardega, episode number 42. Now we're going to take a look and see uh, how the Rally Italian Sardega, so we're going to have a little bit of rain uh, coming into the picture, just a little bit of rain, so maybe we could set about eight soft gravel tires and then ten hard gravel tires. So we're going to start with uh, the soft uh, gravel tires, so make sure we uh, do that. Put those nice soft gravel tires on and then leave uh, the hard gravel tires uh, when we go into the um, when we go to the endurance stage. We're gonna have uh, double endurance stages at uh, in Monte de Alla, 13.22 and 13.20 uh, kilometers early in the evening. And then we have the night rally in uh, Itari. The Itari Arena, that will be our super stage rally, the last stage of the rally of the uh, Rally Italian Sardega. So the first stage, uh, we have the Sardina, they call it the Sardinia Shakedown here at the Rally Italian, and then Lerno will be the very first stage of the rally, and then we have three more stages uh, with our last of the soft gravel tires with Barretta, Lerno Reverse, and then Lerno at night. So here we go, let's get ready to roll here in the Rally Italian Sardega, episode number 42 with the practice of the Sardinia Shakedown. Be careful here at the Rally Italian Sardega. These soft, uh, these soft gravel tires are not very equipped because they really slide. Yeah. And left five, 
Man, a very good job here in the very first rally, and we were a second faster than the practice run that, that we did in the uh, quick play. A minute and 38 seconds, but we know that doesn't count or anything. That was just uh, practice. So a good start so far here in the Rally Italian Sardega, but uh, more harder stages are left to come in this very first stage of the rally. So we didn't do uh, much damage on the car. Nope, no damage. And we're still going to keep the, uh, the tires uh, for the very first stage before we put fresh new ones. So stage two will be uh, Lerno. And it's going to be a very short stage uh, here in the rally. And uh, it will be during the morning that we're going to start this rally. And then we have two evening rallies coming up, and it's especially a Lerno uh, reverse. So we have three Lerno events uh, to choose from. And then we have Barrento reverse coming up uh, before we go into the endurance stage. All right, very first stage, uh, this is one that counts. Here it is, Lerno in stage one. And after uh, we upload this episode, we are going to do Formula One, my team j career mode, which will be the Hungarian Grand Prix at the Hungarian Ring for episode number 93. downhill over here so we need to be careful with this hill. This section may have heavy rocks here. It's one thing I'm really uh, worried about, and then uh, so we don't skid it in too much. Oh, 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 oh. And see what I mean? But I missed that one, but that, that's going to lose the time right there. Apparently, I didn't hit anything, but that is going to lose time. And yep, you see it right there. We lost three seconds. I almost hitting the uh, the hay field. Jump right here. Well, we gained a little bit there. stage again. Damn it. I, I slid off. I just lost it there and then uh, I just slid off on the tires. This 
One thing about the Rally Italian Sardega, you really have to be careful when, when you're turning here, and especially around these downhills in, the, in these corners over here, because the, uh, I just took a big slide. Even though I didn't hit anything heavy, but the... the yeah, we were almost to the finish there. Well, we're going to have to try this stage again because uh, a little bit better that time and we're still a bit So slidey. So that's two minutes and 51 seconds. We lost two seconds on that one because we slid off a little bit. Uh, we were almost getting the win, but uh, Elvin Evans wins the first stage here at Lerno. Man, that, that, that turn is, is hard. Because every time you skid in, then you, you lose control of it and everything. But it's a good start, but uh, we're 2.8 seconds down, but we have to uh, do it very well in the next stage. And it did cause a little bit of body damage right there in the bodywork in the front end. Yeah, we've got to be so careful with Lerno. And I know that's the only section that, uh, that there's a little bit of a weakness there because it's like a sliding magnet when you, when you go to that sector. Well, let's hope we can improve a little bit better in Barrento in the, uh, the next stage. And we are going to change these tires. Now we got a new fresh set of tires, and this will last for the, all these three stages in Barenta and then Lerno and Lerno Reverse. You know, and we have to do that Lerno stage again, but this time it's going to be at night. So let's try to improve it a little bit more here in Barenta.
Now, this is the hardest part of the stage right here. Try to be careful out there. Oh, see? See what I mean? And there's a lot of rocks on, on the right side of this uh, sector. Should have been a little bit more quicker. These tires that don't uh, work too well here at the Rally Italian Sardega because they keep just uh, sliding. in 47 seconds, but that drops us down into P6. We did gain a little bit, but uh, it's too little too late. And then and Terry Neville uh, got the win here at this stage, and Sebastian Oji are second, but we dropped down into sixth place. But we're still seven seconds, so we still have a chance uh, to win this thing. But uh, let's see what we can do in the next stage at the uh, Lerno Reverse. See a a rally car brake broken down there. Mm -hmm. 
a nice job here on this stage here at Learn Over Verse. We're very good at Learn Over Verse. Uh, we seem to be having a big of an advantage, but uh, it wasn't very good for Elvin Evans. So this has been like a seesaw stage battle, and I win my first stage of the rally here in the Rally Tally Sardega, and I win Learn Over Verse by about 4.6 seconds over Terry Nervo. But it seems to be, but man, Oleg Tannock really uh, just struggled over here in, in P10. So that puts us back into the lead with about 1.4 seconds now ahead of Terry Novo. And now Evan Evans has dropped eight seconds and OTR is six seconds right now. That was a very good stage. Uh, that, was, uh, that was the big key point here in this third stage. But now let's see what we can do at night at uh, Lerno. And this will be the uh, last race with the soft uh, gravel tires. And then we go on to the hard gravel tires uh, in the next stage. And this is going to be at night, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult. the stage of the Lerno.
<laughs> lucky there. Lucky there. Seesaw that, that I'm not gonna seesaw like that. We're gonna have to do the stage again. Hold on a second, I'm just trying to three, two, one. So we have to try this stage again though. We slid in a little bit too much and this has been our problem here at Lerno. Quite a bit of improvement on this stage, but I, I'm really not uh, liking to do it all in one try. So we did it. Yep, we went another stage here at Lerno, and we did it right this time at night with 1.9 seconds. So we still hold on to the lead, and Terry Neville was fourth. OGR and Alvin are still struggling. That was a pretty, pretty good uh, stage. A very good stage. And now we have a 5.8 second advantage over Terry Novo as ODR, Elvins, and Tannic are dropping down. Man, we did a lot of suspension uh, problems on this uh, car, but uh, now we're going to. Uh, Looks like we hit some bumps uh, going into there. But we get a fresh new set of uh, front bumper and everything else. Looks like we hit the corner a little bit too hard, but um, now we have a seven second advantage here at this state in the Rally Cali Sardega. Let's we'll see if we can keep it up and then uh, we'll be on our way to winning it.
No, now we got the hard gravel in there. So Barranco Reverse and uh, Monte de Alla will be the first to two stages. And this is going to be stage four of the uh, Rally Italian Sardega. So let's hope we can do a good job in Barranco before we get ready for, for our endurance stage. Here's the next stage. This is Barranco Reverse. Tires don't slide as much as the soft gravel. Not a bad job here at this stage here at Barenta, but uh, we lost about 1.6 seconds. But 
We still hold on to the lead, but remember, Odic Tanaka struggled badly in, in stage three, so Odic Tanaka wins the Barenta reverse. But we have a 10 second advantage over Terry Novo. At least we beat Terry Novo and everyone, but it looks like Odic Tanaka is making a slight comeback to himself, and, and he moves up into P4, winning that stage. And now it is endurance stage time, and the next one, it is uh, Monte Diala. That was a great job and a great improvement here at the Barenta Reverse. That was a nice job out there. We, we performed very well. We steered it a, a little bit better. You know, these hard gravel tires uh, handle a little bit better than the soft gravel. That was a nice job. And you know, so we, we can keep the stage up and going. Now that we have the advantage, and we could have a good chance of winning our first uh, rally win here at the Rally Italian Sardega. So if we can get, keep the momentum going here at the endurance stage. We have two endurance stages left, and we have the super stage at Atari. Hidden rocks there. See, see those rocks on, on that grass? They're hidden. Well, we're a little quicker that time. That's good. Be careful with these rocks. Ooh. That was the Monte de Alla sector uh, that we went in to expand, so we know this course better. Oh, oh, watch out. oh man, I know there was a rock there, but uh, the, we barely made it in there. Thank you. 
gained a little bit there, even though hitting that, that block uh, was nothing. We did a great job. We're, we're doing good here in Murno. We cut five seconds off the off the pace, and now and now we're almost about to leave this thing. That was a nice comeback right there. because of that damn rock. Yeah, we lost eight seconds on that then, for hitting that damn rock. Yeah, we were leading this thing and then suddenly we hit the rock. We have to be careful of, uh, with these hidden objects uh, over here in the Valley Italian. And, but once again, uh, we hit the rock and, uh, oh, man, more problems. Now we can't seem to get into the course. Yeah, we were doing such a great job, and then the, the, suddenly we can't seem to avoid those rocks. Goddamn rock. Damn it. Why did I have to hit that rock? And we lost about eight seconds on that one, and then Terry Noble went on with the win. And now we dropped down into 2.1 seconds. We have to do well in the next stage, in this endurance stage, so that way we can avoid it. Man, it left, left a tremendous amount of damage on, on the car because we were hitting that big rock. We were doing so well over here, we made a major comeback and all that, and then, the, and then we had, end up hitting the rock head on. Uh, 
It left us a tremendous amount of damage on the car. Well, we're going to put everything at 100% because um, and try to repair the car. So now we, we repaired it, and then we'll put a new set of uh, the last set of uh, hard gravel tires. So we have a new car and everything. But uh, now uh, let's do it better here at the Monte de Alla. We have two more stages to go, and we drop down into two seconds. So we need to keep it within about 2.1 seconds or better over Terry Novo. And let's try to avoid rocks and then objects and then also the boulders of, that are slowing us down. I can't believe I hit that damn rock. Thank you. 
lost about two seconds on that one. Cut it down to 2.3, we could still win this.
Let's see if we can try to win this endurance stage. This will be a remarkable comeback if we do. This was a great performance here at the Monte de Alla. And we beat the course within about 9 minutes and 32 seconds. And we did it, yes. We win the Monte de Alla here in this stage. And most certainly we are going to do a replay mode. That was a perfect rally. What a great job we did at the Monte de Alla. So we have one hour to spare here in this WRC 10 career mode, so let's take a look at this great performance on the replay mode here in Monte de Alla. And it looks like we're appears to be on our way of getting our first win, first rally win here at the Rally Italian Sardega. I have tried four times to try three times to try to win here. It didn't work out well with Toyota, but it certainly has worked out beautifully with the Hyundai. I think that was the rock that I hit um, in the beginning, uh, in the uh, previous uh, stage in the rally. Man, I was so pissed off when I hit that rock. But this time I didn't have to worry about rocks here at the Monte de Alla. But you know, in some of the courses over here, there are a lot of hidden rocks uh, that you have to be aware of uh, when you're uh, racing a uh, rally here at the Rally Italian Sardega. Yeah, coming up that downhill is pretty tricky. You have to really uh, back out of the throttle when you're going through there. If you hit, hit the acceleration there, you're gonna get, you're gonna go off the cliff.
Man, this was a great performance. This was the best performance here in the Rally, Rally Italian Sardega, and this could seal the deal to getting our first uh, win here at the Rally Italian Sardega. I haven't won here in a while. I did win in WRC 2, but not in Pro WRC yet in this WRC 10 game. And for those of you who have missed it, you're watching the replay mode of my fabulous performance in, in, the, in the endurance stage in the Monte de Alla. This is the second endurance stage. The first endurance stage we did well, but then that rock uh, cost us eight seconds. As we head now into the Barenta Mountains. about halfway through um, the Monte de Alla, and then we're going to do the final stage of the rally, which is the super stage at Atari. And then when we head into the, uh, the then when we were headed into the mountains of uh, Lerno, then I know what to do here. Because there's a lot of rocks, hidden rocks, everywhere around here. And there's, al there's also a lot of wind turbines over here. So there is electricity, um, well, you know, alternate electricity. Uh, and th those things, those wind turbines, uh, control electricity here. So that way they have power.
And here's the finish of the rally. That was a nice job. And we beat Elvin Evans by about 2.9 seconds after we slowed down a little bit in the mid part of the uh, rally, but then we uh, but then we uh, fastened it up, and then uh, look at that, won the, uh, won the endurance stage rally. And we have a 30 second advantage over Elvin Evans, so we could be on our way of finally getting our first win at the Rally Italian Sardega, and it will be four in a row. And this is it, here it is, the final stage of the Rally Italian Sardega. And if we do well here, we get five extra bonus points and we get our first win at the Rally Italian Sardega. And finally, I'm happy to get through the Rally Italian Sardega after the two rough seasons with the Toyota. Couldn't work out too well, but it did work out with the Hyundai very well. Here it is, final stage of the rally, the super stage at the city, of the third city, third largest city in Italy. Remember, the largest city in Italy is Rome. Two minutes and two seconds, and then we defeat Odic Tannic by about 10 seconds, and we will win the final stage of the rally. And we get five, five extra bonus points at, at the Atari Arena. And finally, we get through, and we're happy to get through the Rally Italian Sardega, even though we had that three second penalty for respawning in the, uh, the first endurance stage, and we won it in dramatic fashion. Our first win at the Rally Italian Sardega, four in a row for the WRC 10 career mode and four in a row for Hyundai. And we beat Evan Evans by about 43 seconds. But a good job for the Hyundais today. They finished first, third, and fourth. And then Odier still struggling in the top five. So Toyota's really struggling uh, here at the uh, Rally Time today. And they've been doing so for the past three seasons. And I'm happy to, that we did it and I'm happy to get over the uh, Rally Time in Sardega. So we win the Rally Italian Sardega by about 37 minutes, 31.04. Uh, and then Elvin Evans had 38.14.61, 38.14.74 uh, for Terry Nervo. So first and third for the manufacturer's uh, points uh, here at the Rally Italian Sardega. A nice trophy, and I'm glad to finally get one. You know, it took me four seasons on WRC 10 game to, 
win the Rally Italian Sedega since the last season. And we return back to victory lane and return back up top, winning the Rally Italian Sardega. Now we have a 143-point advantage over Sebastian Ogier, who finished fifth in we finished fifth here in this rally, and Elvin Evans is now climbing into the charts, and so is Terry Novo. He says 77 points, and Ode Ten rounds up the top five. Boards are doing a good job. To Moon Sun in eighth, and, and Adrian Formax is a, in ninth place. But he did not compete uh, in this event here at the Rally Time in Sardega because he's doing a part time uh, schedule. So that was a great effort and a great job here at the uh, Rally Time in Sardega. We finally get our first win here. What a great job, and we got the trophy now added into our room as we win our first Rally Italian Sardega. And it took three seasons to do it, but finally uh, Hyundai got over it because Hyundai does very well here at the Rally Italian Sardega. Well, it cost us a little bit of money uh, repairing the car and everything else so for $6,400, but now we're up to about $8.36.587. Well, we won it beautifully. That, that was a nice job. That was a great job. We're going to do the anniversary race in our next episode, the number 43, when we go to the uh, Safari Rally in Kenya, because that is the Safari Rally Kenya event, and we'll do a, an anniversary race up for that one. And then we'll do a, a little bit of uh, training as well. And hopefully there'll be a maintenance uh, going on in there for the next event, so that way we can do the uh, Safari Rally in Kenya. So that will be our next episode uh, for... Uh, the World Rally Championship 10. So now we have the, finally, got the uh, Italian uh, Rally Trophy. So we won four wins in a row. We won Sweden, Croatia, Portugal, and now the Rally Italian Sardega. And that is a nice trophy uh, that we put right into the left side of the shell. So we got four uh, trophies uh, in a row, and we're having a remarkable, uh, abundant season in the World Rally Championship. And we only got about seven rallies to go, and the next rally will be the Safari Rally in Kenya. So a great job and a great improvement, and I finally got over the Rally Italian Sardega. I'm very happy with the performance, and the, and the Hyundai car ran great. It handled very well, and uh, in some of the turns and everything, we had a little bit of miscues, a couple of them, uh, in the beginning of the stage, and then also in the Monte de Alla endurance stage, <laughs> when we hit that darn rock, but then, uh, then we improved uh, and performed very well in the Monte de Alla regular and and completed the course within about 2.9 seconds and then won the final stage in the Atari Rally and we were on our way and then we won the victory and happy to get over it. So that is it. That's going to do it for our uh, coverage here at the uh, WRC 10 uh, Career Mode number 42. And thank you so much for watching uh, a great episode on our Speed Japonator 3 channel. And we'll see you uh, later on um, when we have the Formula One uh, My Team Japo Career Mode. We're going to be racing the um, Formula One My Team Japo Career Mode at the Hungarian Grand Prix, the Hungary Grand Prix at the Hungarian Ring. Hopefully uh, we don't struggle too much in, in qualifying. We know we always have a bad qualifying, but we always do a good job uh, during the performance of the race. So thanks everyone for watching. Uh, we'll see you then, and then take care. We'll see you into the next one.